<laughs> There's some sort of nest back there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that was okay. when I got it. I think oh. it's vacant. Okay. It's not There's some shit. bugs on the handle. You touch it like oh, a bunch of bugs shoot. moved. I got a title for this car, and uh, they told me it was running and driving Wind Park. Not that that matters, because it's a rusted piece of crap. Hey, everyone. Before we get into this video, I just wanted to quickly say that I met Sean at the uh, Conroe swap meet recently, and he's a very interesting young man. He actually quit his corporate job so he could start um, running a junkyard and flipping old cars. He has found some very interesting stuff over the years, and uh, very recently he found a really cool little Mazda rotary pickup truck that he ended up selling to Mike Finnegan of Roadkill. And that can actually be seen on the most recent episode of Roadkill. So if you get a chance, check that out. All right, let's head on to the video. All right, Sean, yeah, if you want to... Yeah, y'all can start wherever you want to. We can start with your your whole cars that you're trying to sell, because you'll know a lot more about them than, than we do for sure. All right, let's see what we got here. I feel like I got a 71 Maverick Grabber. 302 car. It's actually really solid. It came from uh, North Texas between Wichita Falls and Fort Worth. Okay. I'm undecided on selling this one. If somebody wanted it, I'd, I'd probably let it go. I've got a parts car for it and an extra grabber hood and a whole bunch of other stuff. And it's it's got a little bit of rust in the floors. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. It was it's originally that blue, huh? I need to get it out of the weather. I'm trying to make shop space for it right now. How long have you had this one? I got this actually from a lead I got from Pate last year. Oh, okay. So I've had this for about a year. Oh, okay. Um, That's pretty cool. And do you have a title or? I got a title for it. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. It's honest. It yeah. A fender inside it that matches the kind of the same patina blue. That's pretty neat. That's yeah, like get rid of that orange. Right on the front. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it doesn't look right on there. <laughs> Be a cool little car fixed it's up. It's a really cool car. I was on the fence of keeping this or the Demon, and I, I like this more. And uh, does it have an engine in there? Or? It's got a 302. Oh, 302. The hood's okay. jammed down. I need to get the hood oh, okay. up. Is this, oh, that's factory like that? Yeah. That's oh, a, that's, that's neat. They only made Thanks. this hood uh, 71 and 72. I've, oh. Yeah, I've never, I mean, I don't know a lot about Pinto. I've actually, I've, cool. I managed to get another one of these hoods up in Montana. That's that's really nice, because this one, unfortunately, on the highway, we oh. rode this with two other cars, and it was on top of the transport, and it blew up. We didn't realize it, and it it mm. boogered the hood. It dented the roof a little bit. Oh, yeah. I think you told me, when we were at Conroe, I think you told me how you bought this, and then it the hood had flipped up on you. So you said this van, it, has, it runs and drives and has title. Yeah, it runs and drives, got a title. And it's a 77 Dodge. 77 Tradesman. Short and this is in good shape. We were it's looking at this a little it, bit I ago. This, uh, um, kind of deep east Texas up in Hemp Hill. Okay. Right next to Louisiana. It's, it's got, got a little. Yeah, it's got, got some, a little bit. It's not too bit. bad. The rails are good on. I looked on at there. The, I didn't see any. I mean, a little blistering here, but for the most part, there was nothing the up thing in there. Is, these, the door is probably easy to find. I think yeah. he must have left stored his brake fluid in there or something. Because that door is. The interior is really nice. What type of engine does it have? You know. This is a 318. 318. Okay. It's, it's a dog. Auto. A 318 auto. I mean, it's slow, but it's a 77 Dodge van. Yeah, not not too bad. And what are you asking for this one? Um, I would do 2,500. 2,500. Okay, yeah. I've driven it down the road. I haven't driven it very well. Door shut the, real the well. The tires are ancient on it, and they started getting real noisy on me. They look like all terrains. And they're Wranglers. They're like the Walmart all terrains. Yeah. It's fine until you almost die. Worst parts down here. Yeah, yeah down here. Oh yeah, it, got, it got side little bundle swiped there. It, it, oh yeah, Ooh, so, they put it on thick. Yeah, they did. That's the worst. The rest of the van. <laughs> a little bit there. over here that's, too. That's a cool looking van though. It is. I know they're kind of getting a little resurrection. People are starting to fix them up again. It's, it's sweet. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Oh, yeah. I got a '74 F250. This is probably a parts truck. Oh really? It's got an FE in it. Um, metal brought carbon intake headers. Somebody. At some point, did care about this truck. Ford tin uh, can. Guy I got it from was going to run it across the scale, so. Oh wow! Um, yeah, okay. I saved it from doom. Oh wow! Um, I just don't know. I've had people. I've had people talk, talk about buying it whole. I've had people want parts off it, and it's just kind of chilling here until I wow. figure out what its fate is. And I'm a hardcore Chevy guy, but I've always loved these 70s. This is this Fords. is the best always looking Ford truck to me. The dent side, the 70s, yeah. 77s are so oh, damn it's, cool. And it's a Ranger XLT. Yeah. Uh, it's a, you know, four speed on the floor. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's, got a, uh, it's missing. It's actually got the toolbox in the yeah. lower side of the bed over there. It's missing the door oh. though. He has the 
Chevy version of that toolbox. This is a pretty the blue. Chevy one, uh, the Chevy yeah, tow storage, wherever they called it. It was pretty blue originally. I've seen old photos where they Oh yeah. Sure enough, it was like a nice to kind of a light. Yeah, almost like a Hawaiian blue is what GM called yeah, theirs. I think it was a two-tone blue and white originally. Damn. That would have been a good-looking truck. They painted it this kind of blueberry purple color. Yeah, it, might, it probably was a lot different than this when they painted it. It looks like the sun got a hold of it. Yeah. It's got some weird rust on the cab. It's, it's. I don't think it's worth fixing. Oh, uh, okay. Good farm truck. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the toast tool yeah, storage box. Missing yeah. the door. That's uh. I don't know. Uh, I think on the Chevys, I think it's about the se the early 70s Chevys. It's kind of the same thing. The doors are hard to get because they rusted so bad. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's a shame. Yeah. Um, there's a date. And this one's I, cool. I think this guy's sold. I'm, I'm, I'm going to know tomorrow. Oh, and I'm because, sorry. And what on the Ford, if you were to sell oh, a whole... Oh, it's thousand bucks. Thousand bucks. Okay. People ask, like, why did you get the price on that? <laughs> so... And then the demon, and this is actually a 340 demon? This or? is a slant six demon. Slant like six I, demon. I, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Somebody got a kind of a bright color for a slant yeah, six be, car. Be cool to but it really, in a 340 or a 318. Can, yeah, that's, that's, but it originally was red? I think this is actually original paint on it. Besides, oh, okay. Yeah, somebody yeah, okay. Like decal. You know, yeah, you're right, because the decals... Somebody, the guy yeah. who was buying this looked up some numbers on it, and he said this was a non-vinyl top car, but I think uh, whatever information he's got is incorrect. It's got trim right here. Yeah, it's got the trim tabs. So this thing definitely had a vinyl roof. Yeah, it had the trim tabs, so paint, that's... Back on there. Well, it's got, I guess, some extra parts. Yeah, it's loaded with parts. Wow. It's got a tough oh, wheel, bucket seats. There's a um, there's a sport dash in there. Look at the old headers. Are these just black interior originally? Uh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm uh, The dash is black. <laughs> yeah, I don't know Mopars Cost that well, so. Little, you know, hot rod car. I traded a Cadillac for this. <laughs> you got the better end of the deal. Well, but there's yeah. no, the there's Cadillac no, ran drove, though. Oh. there's no engine. Uh, right. There's no yeah. engine. Yeah, I got a, so th there's a V8 K member right there on the ground. That's for oh, okay. the car. I got a four door uh, 68 Fairlane. Okay. This is, I'm not sure if this is a, something anybody would want. It's got, it needs floors. The body's not too bad, but the floors are rotten. It's got a custom front seat, as you can see, <laughs> and a stash of uh, random seat. goodies I pulled out of Montana that I need to. Oh, uh, okay. So this one out in eBay. Did this one come from Montana, or you just no, this, you just I got put this stuff in there? Oh, okay. It's another one. The guy was gonna crush it. Okay. Uh, okay. It's got a 289 C4. What year? I'm sorry. This is a 68. 68. You bet it's not a 67 Chevy Ford, or you could people buy them up and uh, make them look like the supernatural. Chevy. Oh, I know the Impala. Yeah, except for that was a yeah. hard top. This sedan, but yeah, it's kind of a cool car. The, got the engine and everything. So yeah, we had it kind of half ass run, and it's got a uh, power issue right now, so the it's not getting power to the ignition. But uh -oh. with the power probe, it starts. Um, yeah, I'd sell this one for probably a grand. Okay. Um, I got a title for it. Okay. And. Pretty much everything you got titles for it are all Texas titles. All Texas titles. Okay. I don't have a title for the F two fifty. Okay. Ah, uh, 83 Black Dodge van. This is a, a regular van, like a regular length. Yeah. Uh, this one developed a fuel issue recently. I had this thing running and driving. Oh, okay. The 318? It's a 318. Okay. It's got a clear title. Uh, got some killer factory turbine wheels. Oh, yeah. Some old vectors. Yeah. Oh, those are actually factory. Look at the cap. They're back. Those oh, are yeah. factory wheels. That's yeah, those seats, those seats are, are sick. These came out of a motorhome. Oh, freaking, okay. I love those. Just say, man, those are clean. I got this thing with no seats in it, and those kind of fell into my lap right at the right time. You got uh, some sort of seats solid. back. I mean, somebody needs to some sort of do seats something in. with this. I've lost interest in it. Yeah, it's cool. Nice. There's some uh, seats in the back. Is that not the seats uh, for this? Yeah, it came with a whole bunch of extra parts. I actually oh, okay. through this thing still. The guy I got this from was a bit of a uh, pack rat. He'd get uh, he'd get project cars and he would uh -huh. just hoard parts for them. Oh, uh, okay. Rat's nest. Oh wow. Yeah. Some Massive nest. rat's nest. Wow. Oh, uh, that's cool. Which is fine. All the like little gas. Oh. You those. want those? <laughs> Letters. You can have, like, yeah, there's uh, <laughs> there's some sort of nest back there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that okay. was the one I got it. I think oh. it's vacant. Oh, okay. And then this you got from Mexico? This I got this locally, but yeah, that's a Mexican. Oh, it's from tea. Mexico. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's still got the original registration sticker on the back. Oh yeah, and we were actually cool? going. Actually, that's the one right there. And we were actually that's going sad. down the highway the other day, and there was a modern car from Mexico, and we saw the sticker and the license plate. So I guess that's something they do down there, where oh, the yeah. and the sticker matches the plate. Although I don't think any of these stickers match that plate. It's, yeah. it's even Spanish on the emblems. <laughs> Look at that automatic. This thing is so cool. It is. It's in good. I need to get this thing out of the weather. This is another one Solid. of those. 
Wow. A lot of the glare, hard to see, but yeah, it's got a lot of stickers from Mexico in there. It needs carpet. AC? The interior is nice. Oh, there's the wow. license plate. Oh, there is the sticker. The original sales invoice and owner's manual is in there, too. Oh. Wow. I, I a... need to get this thing titled, and I don't know how that's going to go about. And you got it right. Is it running or no? No, it's not running. I like but the door I, handles. It probably wouldn't cool. take much. The interior is nice. Man, isn't that cool? Okay. I want to tear it. It's definitely unique for sure. Ooh, look at that 4. thing. 4.6 liter straight six. It is taking up the uh, whole engine bay. That is a big power six. Wow. That's I, think that's a, I think it worked out to 292 cubic 4. inches. 4.6 liter. Big, it's got a Motocraft two barrel carb. You see, this is a Mexican Vintag right here. Oh, look how dingy that is. I'm gonna huh. peel that off. I was gonna say, it's like <laughs> super flimsy. So it's a, a Mexican American. Yes. A Mesoamerican. There you go. It's really neat and it's in good shape and complete. It is. It's a yeah. nice car. I mean, it's 75,000 miles on it is what it wow. works out to the to the K's on the odometer. So yeah. I need that thing needs to go back on the road. Yeah, that's um, nice. It could be a, it could be a pretty darn nice survivor car. Hmm. How much for it? If yeah. somebody wanted that thing, I'd take a grand for it. Okay. And we were uh looking at these, these are some that we oh, caught, caught our eye earlier. We thought these were really cool. Yeah, we got the Breaking Bad Fifth Avenue. Is that the one that uh, Mike drives? Mike's Is car. it? Oh, it's the same car. His yeah. different color though. Yeah. Okay. And then we got a big, big sexy 71 Ford station wagon. The station wagon's it's really big. cool. Yeah, they were going to crush this. I drove oh, a wow. long way to go rescue that. Oh, thing. wow. So this look one, at Mike's car real fast. This one's, just, this, it's got the full cigarette burned uh, pleated seats. <laughs> um, this car runs and drives, but it develops a fuel issue after about five minutes of running. So um, what do you mean? It gets starved or? It just gets starved. It's either going to need a pump or a filter. I just, uh, I need to get off my butt and work on this thing. Okay. Yeah. Cause I noticed the tag was out fairly recently. Yeah, it, I've yeah. driven it. it. It drives. I drove it on and off the trailer. Um, oh, okay. It actually runs good when it runs. It's just, it's got an issue getting fuel. Hmm. Uh, if somebody wanted this thing as it sits, I'd take what I paid for it. I paid a grand. Okay, so, and it's Texas title? Texas title. 318, okay. 904. It's just an 87 or an 86. Oh, okay. I can't remember. This is a, this is a, a Ford massive sedan. car. Yeah, this original this paint. Um, yeah, it's, got some rust here cool. and there. It's not bad. This came up from way northeast Texas. Okay. Like I'm a sucker for original paint cars, and the interior looks pretty not much untouched, too. The car's been yeah. sitting out in a pasture since 96. Oh, really? That long? I'm surprised being north Texas, the interior's even there, unless it's nice seeing it's been sitting around for 25 awesome. years. Cool to get around and just yeah, they told me it ran and drove. And what motor does this have? It's a 400 modified. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, the hood engines on it are pretty yeah, Be good. careful, Keegan. You don't want to damage it or hurt yourself. Dang, it's a, mostly there, too. I think it must yeah. have been parked with a brake issue. Obviously, the master cylinder is yeah. missing. The brake calipers were were off when I got it, and they're sitting inside the car. So it's going to need brakes. Probably hey. a pretty much full brake system. You said 71. 71, yes, sir. And you haven't gotten this Sweet. one running, though? Not running. I haven't Not messed yet. with it. I, I rescued it, and it's just been hanging out here. Yeah, it looks, I mean, looks to be seeing, but it looks like it'd probably be something that... I, I don't think it would take that complete. much to get this going. Um, I don't have a title for this one, unfortunately. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I would sell this car for 1200 Okay, and it's nice. I know sometimes the camera doesn't always, uh, you know, something, sometimes things look nicer or worse, but no, this was, this you could definitely tell it's a solid car. original yeah. car. Yeah. The new thing about original paint is usually there's nothing hiding underneath there. No, that's what it is. It's got a little some, ruffling it's got here, and that's it. Things. A 74 satellite station wagon. This one is a bit rusty. Not really any structural issues on it, but it'd be kind of it's old enough to be a rat rod, but it's kind of like a ratty 70s car. It'd be good for a family or something. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I'd sell that car for 700 bucks. Okay. Title or no? No title on okay. that one. That's a that's a Brenham Estate car. Blue on blue, maybe blue yeah, the and dark blue. Doors on this thing have chosen to not. <laughs> Oh, you just leave those on the roof. I found those on the ground here. the other day. Go with the car. Oh, safety glasses. That's unique. It is unique. You don't see many of these uh, these big body wagons like this. They're pretty cool. Yeah, it is neat. Yeah. I like the 
I like the funky 70s stuff. Like the stuff no one thought uh, kept because it was funky. Yeah, exactly. And now it's like really like, well, I never seen anything like that. You know, that's the stuff I like. Even though this car is rusty, it hasn't ever been repainted. It's honest. I mean, what you see is what. That's true. Yeah, you can tell that's the original paint. What's got going on? Swinger. 71 Dodge, Dodge Star Swinger. Ooh. This was a Plant 6 car. Somebody shoved the 340 in it at some point. Oh, okay. Uh, previous owner told me that this car was running but smoked. I have not actually tried to start it. Hmm. Um, Weren't Swingers the like cheap version, cheap sporty version? I think so. It was like an appearance package. It came with yeah. like a, probably like a vinyl top and got the cool Swinger albums. Yeah, I love this. <laughs> it's got a few extra parts in there too. Oh, yeah, it's loaded with parts. Yeah. It's gonna need full quarters. The rest of the car isn't too bad. Um, I have Door shut nice. I have a title for this car. And what are you asking for this one? Uh, somebody wants it with a 340. Probably four grand. Uh, okay. If they want it without, I'll throw in a uh, 318, 2500 bucks. Okay. Yeah, there you go. This one I think is cool. Yeah. So These are. Two satellite, two door. Okay. Yeah. It's not a bad car. Um, yeah. compared, considering where I got this car from mm -hmm. and how it was kept, it, it bared pretty well. It's going to need some sheet metal on the lower body. Unfortunately, the bumpers are missing. I do not have a title for this car. This is another Brenham Estate vehicle. Okay. Man, I know you have a, I'm a, you're a sucker for the green I love vehicle. green cars. Just about to say, I love green cars. Yeah. This thing was original green interior, too. A lot of the That's cool. I like green. I know a lot of people hate green. I love green. Green, green on green. green or, green's my favorite. Yeah, green. And I don't know why, but it always seems like green cars always fared better than oh, other so colors. The pale yellow cars fared better. It's all old. Yeah. Those. Yeah. I think, you're, and I think that's why. Old timer. Here, okay, here it is. Got a little thing. December of 71. 40? A little bit of information on there. I'm sure it's a 318. Yeah. I'd be really mad if that was a 340. But yeah. I doubt it's got a two barrel on it. There's no more. Yeah. yeah. If somebody, this car, 1500 bucks. 1500. Probably That's cool. about the cheapest Sweet. you can get a B body for. Yeah, Probably. I know. Can't believe it hasn't sold. It's a shame they cut the hole in there because that water got down running. in there now. Yeah, it needs a hood. The hood's junk. Somebody tried some really shoddy body work yeah, on it. Not cool. Now, this reminds me of high school because I had friends that had these back in that high school. Finder? Yeah. Uh, super high mileage, two wheel drive with a blown head gasket. Yeah, that, that, that thing's going to be a parts truck. And I think it had 335,000 miles when we looked at it before we started filming. That's been a buttload. It drives. Yeah. It really? smokes like crazy. What year? It's a, it's a 92. Okay, yeah, that sounds right because any of my friends would have had an early 90s, late 80s because we didn't, none of my friends drove new stuff. It's a 92 or 93. It's is, 8 to 92 build. It's got your brother's name on it right there. It does. <laughs> is that, that make it his automatically? And the interior was pretty decent it on It actually this. is. Yeah. I pulled this out of an estate. They haven't gotten me the title yet on it. I don't, I, hey, said I'd be very surprised if somebody wants this. Are those yours? Oh, yeah, they fell off. Okay, good. Yep. And... Sure. So you're most likely gonna park this one. Yeah, I don't like. I don't think it, anybody's gonna want this thing. It's a two-wheel drive automatic. Oh, two-wheel drive. I didn't notice yeah. that. Oh man, it did have a lot of. I noticed everything's power in there. It had a lot of. Yeah, somebody loaded options. it out. Yeah, black. It would have been cool if it was four-wheel drive, but you're right, two-wheel drive. That's gonna be hard to sell. 81 Monte Carlo, it's a V6 car, and it's uh, Carlo. The animals love that one. Oh my God! Wow. I was told it ran. This one's actually kind of semi-local to you guys. It was bought. Um, Alvin or Pearland? Okay. Uh, I bought it in Northeast Texas, though. It moved up. Part north. It actually does open. Uh, I want to and for anyone in the internet world who doesn't know, oh. the part of Texas we live in is not a selling point. No, it's not. Uh, we're like right on the coast. Uh, it rains a lot. Houston area. It's not good. I like them cool ass old glasses. <laughs> yeah, the, the car is absolutely full of stuff. I need to dig wow. through this thing. It's a time capsule of like oh early my 90s. God. You want that? Some old, okay, old like there 80s. You go. Look what he just found in there. Nudie mag. Oh. <laughs> Even <laughs> worse. It's got some old ass Hardee's and Mountain yeah, Dew and bottles and can It's I got some old it, stuff. I found a frozen dinner in the back seat of this thing that was unopened from like 30 years. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, I can get Windows 95. <laughs> it's like really? A, I haven't even been in the trunk on this yet. I don't know what's in the trunk. Oh, I'm sure there's plenty of surprises. I didn't get keys with it. I had to, you know, take the column apart when I drug it out of the woods. Wow. It's a cool, that's a good style though. That's a pretty desirable style. It's a pretty, and the interior on this car, as dirty as it is, mm -hmm. it's actually it's a good drag car. pretty nice. It is a good drag car. Yeah. It's the, solid. The only real rust it's got is right here on the brow of the hood. 
Okay, yeah, I was gonna say I didn't see any. I try to point it out when I see it, not to make your stuff look bad, but just so. Yeah, it's it's not know. too bad. This is a this car. I got this car in Northeast Texas. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Whoever had that definitely just like the store all the trunk. There's still stuff. the How did they drive it with that stuff in there? Like that? I found it's a time. Back. It's a time capsule. It is because there is a lot of. 30 40 year old stuff in there see if you can pop that trunk we'll see if there's any heavy with the glass you want to pop the trunk so we can yeah, see land. <laughs> oh yeah wrong carter okay wrong carter is there a oh, I, thing to pop it over there or no no i don't no. think this thing has thick thin glasses on well <laughs> so if someone wants to buy it there might be a mystery a surprise in there you never know yeah you never know i, mean, I told me this thing was running not that that matters it's a v6 car mm. my shin burns from resting in on that oh, can. yeah there's mountain dew sprite look at the hardy's cup yeah which i guess someone drove it up north because i don't think we have any of those around here i don't know what's that oh, wow. oh yeah electronics technology kilgore college that'll tell you east, oh, te east yeah. texas sure enough hardy's yeah a lot of old there's a lot of 80s 90s trash in there Trash. Yeah, that's probably spread. 90s. There was a bunch of the old cans, especially if they had the styrofoam on them. When I was a kid in the 80s, they'd have the styrofoam wraps on them. I used to peel the wraps, but now you hardly ever see them anymore. You got some free set? Yeah. Who knows? I, the interior in this car would actually clean up pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. I like the old 90s kind of Petro. That's cool. You want that? Sure. <laughs> Jesus. Look how easy I am to deal with. <laughs> hey, you want this trash? Hey, I got a, I got a bag or two of trash over here. I'll take that. <laughs> so this, I recognize this. This is on the cover of Black Keys album. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> this is a really super duper early caravan. Yeah. And uh, I actually bought this from the same guys from Monte Carlo, and I bought it just because it was like a hundred bucks and okay. it made a great wiring harness shed. I was gonna say that. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. So it didn't have the wires. No. The storing it in there. Yeah. It's a great little shed, and it's kind of retro cool. And it's a rust-free van, and you never know. Maybe someday somebody will want this stupid. That's thing. true. And uh, so late, mid, late eighties. This is an eighty-five. Okay, yeah, mid eighties. Yeah, four by one hundred. That's when they first came out. And then uh, Ram Charger. Those this are a cool. Mexican Ram Charger. Wow. Okay. I think it's a ninety-three. Okay. So Popular Mexican Ram. There. They made a third generation. Of they Ram did. Charger. So what's cool about this? This tool drive. Oh, it's a tool drive one. Yeah. Yeah. So these. It's a way to tell it's Mexican right mm -hmm. off the bat. Never did this in US Ram Chargers, these big Dodge lights. Oh, really? Okay. I never did a rear wiper in US Ram Chargers. I never did a third brake light. Oh, very interesting. So this okay. This is a 360, it's an overdrive automatic. Um, it's probably more of a parts truck. I don't have any paperwork for it. Yeah, that's a bad thing um, about getting them out of the country. Oh, it ran up to pretty recently. Um, well, shame, they registered it, it in Texas. It must yeah. have titled. Somewhere along the way. Yeah, pretty pretty vacant in here. Let's say uh, that's yeah, Sabaru. It's a cool truck though. It's got a good grill, and those are hard to find. Yeah. And <laughs> this thing, I guess. That's uh, uh, a uh, very very dead Dodge St. Regis. Wow. Yeah, yeah. they smashed in the. It's got a 360 in it. It's got some bits. Yeah, it got smashed because this truck fell off the trailer. Oh, it's funny. Earlier he joked that they hit it with the truck, and I was like, oh, I don't it, think it, so. It, it did. That's why the car is on the trees. Oh, okay. Yeah. Long story. Uh, this truck uh, had an incident on my trailer and destroyed my winch, and to well, get it off, uh, we heaved wow. it and it rolled. Got a little grass growing in the it, rear seat. Looks like this it, 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 it definitely did. Yeah. Wow. With this heavy thick surface. Oh, yeah, the bumper's doing its job. Another Maverick, huh? Yeah, 1970. Did you get this from the same guy as the other one? I got this one in Tyler. Okay. This was a parts car for the gravel. Okay. It's a so straight six, it's, huh? It's really not that bad of a car, though. I, I kind of no. feel guilty if I parted it. Parting it? Yeah. It's got bumpers. It's got a seat core because the other car's missing the seat. Hmm. It's a 206 three in the column. Um, yeah, this poor thing's been sitting back here for about a year. Oh, okay. Be cool little car. Right. See if I can get a door open to look inside. Maybe the old steelies it has. Oh, yeah, the orange ones. Wow. Yeah, it's got some... It's got a little bit of character. It's got character. It's got a cool car. Something happened right there. Fire and whatever. And I guess it's an old deer lease truck yeah, here. somebody cut the roof off of what was nice 60 series land cruiser you say normally you wouldn't see that on a land cruiser getting cut up like that well the guy is like a millionaire who had it so mm. i guess uh 
don't matter too much. Do doesn't it? matter too much. I mean, the yeah. grand he probably spent on this was a drop in the bucket. That's true. And now it's sick. Look at it it's sitting rotten in the woods. <laughs> Be cool property truck. Yeah, it's got a good motor and trans. It's it's missing the fuel system. Mm. Is it run? It was running. I, I okay. uh, it's a long story with this thing. Oh. Um, it's been kind of just chilling out here. I haven't done anything with it. It's it was kind of abandoned here three years ago. Oh. Uh, so I think I got a little ahead of myself to backtrack on the and they, you might have said on the Monte Carlo and the van titles or no? No titles in either of those. Okay. Um the Monte Carlo, I probably do 1100 on the money car okay i don't think anybody's going with the van i mean the van's four or five hundred dollars okay if somebody wanted that thing and then is this one you say you're parting this for this your... is this is gonna go I, if somebody wanted to buy all the mavericks i'd sell this with it i don't want to sell this car by itself if somebody mm. bought the grabber i would i'd probably throw this car in with it okay and then what about the uh rich man's uh deer lease truck this is hanging out until i uh, sell my personal fk6 okay because they might um Depending on what kind of deal I work out with people, I, I, I might throw this in as a parts truck. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. I got yeah. a Dodge Aspen. This is the parts car, 1980 model, 318. Actually, not a rusty car, but the roof is shot. Oh, yeah. the uh, Man, it, we, I couldn't tell you how many times we've seen cars because that vinyl roof just kills it, you know? Yeah. Other than that, it is pretty. It doesn't have any paint, but other than that, it's solid. But yeah, the roof, this yeah. Is, this is another Brenham car. Okay. And Brenham people aren't familiar is about what 45 minutes an hour northwest of houston ah uh, you ever eaten bluebell ice cream that's where they make it i've been driven from houston there in a while it's it's like 75 miles directly west of here okay and we're in conroe texas which yeah. is about an hour north of houston yeah we're 55 miles north okay 73 new yorker this is cool um, this thing is a rotted piece of yeah. crap uh but it's a 440 car yeah i was gonna say this would have been top Before of the line donut, back when it was new donor someone donor. will want it for that motor yeah it's the, the the body is trash but it's got a motor a transmission it's got one year only disc brake spindles on it it's got a tilt tilt stepping steering column 727, 727. yeah that's all Brand monty real. these are all yeah, my mom had a mercury that was really? reminds yeah. me of it it was a mercury that was green on green like this but uh huh. obviously it's chrysler right. but yeah then, like, you, what's uh, left of the vinyl top and then it's Citation destruction at left. Yeah. Yeah. Would have been a hell of a this car new though. Brom. This is an entire face of a car. Yeah. And what did that come off of? This is Boy. an AMC. Oh, nice. Somebody bust this. I mean, the car is. It's not going to ever look right again. And that's got some little damage, but that's a repairable grill. Yeah, especially if they don't reproduce them. Yeah, they're yeah. never going to reproduce no. anything for those cars beyond is... basic wear items. Toyota Corolla front grill. Yeah, those are cool. I think that's going to be a good wall hanger. I was going to say that would be a hell of a wall hanger, yeah. That's Montana as well. This oh, is, okay. Uh, this, is a, this is like a Hilux. Yeah, early Hilux. Yeah, Late early 60s, 70. early 70s. Cool. Yeah. And then there's another pile of grills. Some more Subaru. There's a Ford. Oh, Dotson. Yeah. Dotson 720. Subaru for a This is a Datsun. Um, I think this is a six ten or a five ten. I thought it. Was I don't a think it's. I don't think it's Toyota truck. back there. More Subaru. More Subaru. AMC oh, Matador be. Dodge Coronet. Okay. Yeah, that's a Maverick grill. That's an early Maverick. Yeah, these are all um, grills. Yeah, they need to get these things cleaned up and, and say, for sale. Someone They're, out there is looking for all these grills. Yeah, yeah. I, I brought some of these to the, to the swap meet. I sold a few. That's actually yeah, that's Mercury Comet. That's cool. Yeah. Those are hard to find too. And then this is a four-wheel drive eagle this is a four-wheel drive eagle now this car it looks really good exterior wise mm -hmm. ignore all the crap on it um yeah the extras it really has no body rust but the undercarriage is rotted it's got pinholes uh, on the control arms um, it's a new hampshire car oh wow okay. yeah and it looks great from the exterior and the interior is really nice if somebody had one of these that was rust free with baked that inside this yeah would be a fantastic parts car and that's one good thing i've noticed about northern cars even if they're rusty the interior is usually pretty nice yeah this one's this which, one you need original interior car. which and then, like you said people that live in places where they have solid bodies they usually interiors are roached i really like eagles i wanted one of these for a long time i drove up to hawkins texas to look at this car and uh i was disappointed when i found the rust i was able mm -hmm. to work a deal on it anyway oh okay it was good for parts if nothing else so. and so you're most likely part of it, but if you were to sell it, what do you think? Somebody wants this car for 600 bucks. And is it got a New Hampshire title or wherever it was? Or? No papers on this. No papers, car, okay. I'd, be, yeah. I'd love this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool. Wagon type. 
And then is this another? This what is, is we're into the parts cars now. This is a okay. very very crappy '86 Suzuki Trooper. This thing oh. is not long for this world. Okay. Anybody needs parts on this? Speak now or forever hold the <laughs> So you're gonna crush this thing. Yeah, it's been out here for a year. Okay. That's been a long time for a parts car. I, I haven't had the heart to do away with it yet. Ah. Uh, are any of these other cars cars you're trying to sell these whole? Are, we're getting into parts cars. Okay. Because got, got a, a, a Thief Av and then uh 85 Dodge D50. Okay. Yeah. So on these, we don't have to go in detail on all of no, them. We can just kind of. junk. I don't, I don't think anybody's going to want any of these. They're they're rough. We got some very rusty Suburbans. Good workout <laughs> machine. It's yeah, these looks like oh, either I, either you. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah holes all up in there. Yeah. So either you or someone sold a lot of the parts off of this. Oh, yeah. This, this, yeah. Is, this is pretty this much is gone some, inside. Yeah, this thing was. Actually, we drove this on the trailer. Oh, really? But uh, oh, it, nobody uh, nobody be upset. It was, uh, it was doomed. I mean. Wow. Yeah, yeah, the drivetrain lives on in a Camaro now. Oh, okay. And, uh, it, is, a, uh, it has made a lot of people very happy. It had a, this thing had a crack free dash in it. And... Oh, nice. Yeah, you're right. You got a, quite a few of the Suburbans. There's yeah, another one. The, the, G, the Grande is kind of cool, the older one. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's gone, but it's still cool. It is so rotten. Yeah. Wow, yeah, look it's at the fenders on there. It can. Yeah, it's, that thing's been wow. sitting. Actually, um, there's a blue suburban over there. A blue suburban was on top of this thing for probably 25 years. This oh, good. This thing piled into the dirt. Wow. Um, I bet it's still got some some parts in there worth giving. It had, the big thing on it was the 12 volt rear end. I sold that maybe a week ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, you just sold the bed right here, didn't you? When they... uh, yeah, they haven't gotten paid for it yet. We'll see if they come back. Okay, yeah, because <laughs> we got here. There were some guys talking to you, and I don't want to interrupt you. And it sounded like they were trying to buy this bed. They, they yeah. told me they want it. They're going to come back in the week, hopefully. Okay. Even though that fender on that blue suburban over there is rotted out on the passenger side, it'd be cool to get. It's, it's, gotta, gotta... it's funny, even... As beat up and rusty as these are, they still something about them to me at least that makes them kind of cool. I always gravitate and just check them out. It's got the old grill in there. Yeah, I, actually, this thing is full of parts. Uh, this is my buddy's uh, parts bin. He picked a very bad one because it has no window. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. you kind of parts. usually want something that has some some sort of enclosure to it. It'd be cool to take this fender and put on mine. You know. Ooh, that is. <laughs> yeah, you know it's rounded out, but. Fiberglass yeah. and Bondo. We'll talk to you in a little bit. He did actually find a passenger side. 70s fender over there oh, yeah, if you're willing to sell actually. it that's yeah where the, uh, one is. Was, here's one right here oh that's the driver's side that's, oh, okay that's the repop okay. one and that's just another 80s blazer and then what oh you got a volvo back yeah, there yeah volvo wagon i like once again i don't have a heart to crush that thing it's still got good parts <laughs> yeah well, that's been out here for a while it's donated a lot it's kind of slowed down i haven't had anybody pick things off of it in a while what would you hmm. take it out uh, somebody take it off your hands for oh i don't think they want this well like, keegan they cut someone cut a big hole in the back over there what Someone's got a big hole cut in the back of it on the yeah. driver's side. It's See, rough. they cut the window out. Piece of over there. Oh, is that what you're thinking? Yeah, this was, this car was from Alvin. Um, okay, that's near us. Yeah. yeah. That's, why this, that's why this car is uh, losing its life. Yeah, a lot of the coastal southeast Texas cars, a lot of roof rust. I guess up north, the first thing people do is check out the bottoms in our part yeah, of this we check country. We check the top because they always rust top down. Yeah. Yeah, it's still got some bits in it. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a lot of good parts. This thing popped in there. off when I first got it. I had a lot yeah. of I had a lot of people come and get parts off of it. Yeah, there's a lot of good just parts. Just kind of slowed there. down. Everybody wants stuff off this cars in Austin or Dallas. They just don't want to oh. make them drive. Yummy. Hell, 70 Chevy van here. Yeah. I'm so impressed with how many vans you got. You, van Dura. This oh. is not. There's a some Chevy. bugs on the handle. You touch it like oh, a bunch of bugs shoot, moved. I don't know, but man, you put your hand up there, they all moved. I've seen those before on trees. I don't know what they are. I don't think I've ever seen that. They really like that handle, don't they? Yeah. That's how it's care. So how do you end up with so many vans? Because you hardly ever see them well, for sale. And you got so got many of buddy, them. And it just so. Uh, the vans, if they've got windows and stuff in them, they end up being sheds. This one, yeah. I, I haven't had hard to crush. I really like G vans. And it's yeah. Got, it's a good color combo, and it's got all the trim. Yeah. And um, I'm just, it's not in the way. It can sit out here until it's all gone. And it's still got a lot of good parts. It does. It's still got a cluster yeah. in it. It's, it's still got, got an engine. It's got some pop out windows left. Yeah. It's got a Monaco Bluesmobile. Oh, is that a, is it the same year and everything? Uh, I think the Blues movie was 74. This is 75. So okay, slightly different. very similar. Uh, you want to see some some bad rust, uh, you can stick your camera under the back of this car. You can look through to the trunk lid. So, all the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That car, that uh, is... they must have kept batteries in the trunk. It is <laughs> rotten. Maybe it was a pool guy and he kept chlorine back there, it, too. This, this car is so beyond wow. done. The vinyl took it out, too, huh? These door wow. panels still. 
wow. somehow. Still have the engine in it? Yeah, it's got a 400 big block. Nice. It was blue on blue too. Yeah, look at that. Uh, I guess no. the only bad thing is none of the Mopar, the muscle car guys never want any of the 400s from what I know. We don't. I shouldn't have opened the hood up all the way. <laughs> Yeah, I'd kill to get a 74. I, I'm a huge Blues Brothers fan. I don't think I would make it look like a Blues Brothers mobile, but There's it'd be cool. Everybody to, has them. That's yeah. All right, you want me to help pull down? I just don't want to crush anyone's hand. Oh, there it goes. Okay. That's a very, really different yeah, uh, hood mechanism. To, uh, the torsion bar Chrysler goods. Huh. Got some really crappy chargers. And you just got these in. Just got these. And it's been here for like a day. And you. You said you bought how many cars have you just bought recently? 22 cars. 22 uh, cars. So we might. Three of the 22 is the Monaco and these two. So we might come back here in a little bit and. Um, Lots of rusty mopars. Get some more uh, new Whoa, stuff filmed from that. you. I like that hood. Any. Uh, well, they got the tags on here, but I don't know if they're. You can see what they say. They're pretty rough. I'm sure these are both 318 cars. Nothing special. What years are these again? This one's, I think this is, a, this is a 73 or 74. Okay. I think this one's a 72. Okay. A hey, Camaro on, uh, that's Camaro, right? Right here? It's a heavy. I know. He bought. It's a 70s Camaro? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He bought two of these hubcaps and they go on, uh, Monaco, Polaro. They go, also go on Cornet. Yeah. I actually love them. Yeah. They're not my favorite. I don't like hubcaps. I really like those. Those look killer. I like the dog dish, especially on the dish. I like the too. This is black. That would have been cool looking new. That drag racer. This one was black. That would have been pretty sharp. Yeah, at one point somebody yeah. had it all dolled up. It has a. Uh... It's got some decent parts in there on these. It's got most of the interior in there. A little Toyota. What is this, a Celica or? That's a uh, 81 Corolla wagon. Oh, Corolla That's wagon. Cool. Okay. It's pretty cool. 70 yeah. These are actually really neat little cars. This one sat in the woods for too long. Mm. Um, it's already really its drivetrain for an earlier Corolla. Um, but this, this, this rear wheel drive. This is going to get to hang out here until everything's gone. These are getting rare. Oh, are know. they? Maybe it's cool to toss a K-series or something in there. For it's a just, just, man, the rear title for this car. It's just too rusty. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's not even, it's, it's so, it's not even so much the rust. Doors? It's just, it's been, it's Door been shot really around. nice on this. this. Came out of place I know. Here. Like drop it, put like a something that you toss a K series in, make it make like 600 horsepower. Turbo. It's a, it's a cool little car. It'd be a sweet little. It'd be front wheel drive then, but it'd be sick. Just have a little hot rod. Yeah, it is wagon. neat. Oh, this is neat. Though. It's neat. And you got a couple more of the. Oh my God. You want that? Crossfire. You know, if anything you offer him, it could be. You want some a handful of this dirt? He takes it. He'll take anything. Those on a Corvette. Eighty-four Corvette. Yeah. So it's another Mike Mobile there, isn't it? Yeah, I got a bunch of those. There's, okay. there's I thought like, I saw I think I got five of them. I want to backtrack just a bit, just because yeah, yeah. it's catching my eye. This white Chevy is that Chevy? Oh, the oh the Cordova. Oh, Chrysler. Yeah, sorry. Just, I just want to check it out. It's cool. Oh, yeah. That's God, neat. Ugly. Oh, that's why I like it. <laughs> yeah, that car yeah. here for. Uh, Probably 10 months now, and I haven't sold a single part off of it. Really? No one loves these. And, um, I guess see why. It's got a 400 in it. Yeah, that... A little fella in there. I just like the... Whenever you see the funky cars, like, okay, that's that's cool. Just because it's so funky and ugly. I'm in the factory... Roof, factory mo factory moonroof, though. That's cool. There's some guy with the Dodge version of this, and he's... Charger. Like I, got, a, I got two of those coming. A tunnel ram. Yeah, 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 it's it's going to look sick. What are the floor mats I put in there? Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh, you were telling them In one of the Facebook groups, there, some dude has the Dodge version of this car. Oh, yeah. oh does he? taking like a Tunnel Ram 440 or something, and they're going to toss it in here. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Going out of it. You can see the 400 in there, and yeah. it's too dark. Someone tried to get the hood up. We, oh, we had it up. It's, it, the hood is, oh. uh, is toasted. Um, I can tell. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Lean burn. Oh wow, that's neat. I got a title for this car, and uh, they told me it was running in Driving Wind Park. Not that that matters, because it's a rusted piece of crap. Yeah. Now, if someone out there did love it, since you have a title, what would you sell it for? Seven hundred bucks. Seven hundred bucks. I so figure, I figured the the K member. It's a B body K member on these, and then the 
the drivetrain, even though the 400 is not very desirable. And it's a moonroof car, which is kind of unusual. I'm surprised somebody's bought that actually, as you pointed it out, because a lot of people want the coupe moonroofs. For oh, do they? Their projects, yeah. Well, there, there you go. It's a selling point, maybe. I had them out of Lincolns and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, neat. Now, I'm assuming these are just your trucks here. Yeah, it's here. my shop truck. 87 okay. Sierra. It's four-wheel drive. Uh, Sick. Uh, fuel injected, and it's a SM465 manual. Yeah, this is a nice uh, it's one. Honest. It's honest. It's got hail dings. It's from the western slope of Colorado. Oh, okay. Well, explain it's why sick. it's so solid. Yeah, it's a solid truck right there. It's a good little driver. Yeah, it is. Fifth yep. Ave. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a small ball low power rally. Those are kind okay. of so another fifth Ave late uh, 80s, I assume. Yeah, okay. that's another another Brenham Estate car. They're all from Brown. Oh, uh, uh, did the, one guy have just a bunch of them? or? Yeah, he was a hoarder. Oh, okay. Uh, there's a lot of stuff out there. Grabber Hood. Yeah, what is yeah, this? Yeah, Grabber Hood. This is the, for the, the Maverick in the front. This is yeah. from Montana. Oh, that's, that's the, really okay. Really nice so that's hood. the other hood you got. Yeah, okay. This car is rough. This is actually a really rare car. This is a 79 Dotson 18 coupe. They only made this for one year. Huh. Wow. Uh, it's a six cylinder. Um, I picked it up at a shipping company in Houston. It was abandoned. Oh, wow. And uh, I don't know what happened to the suspension or the engine. There's paperwork. Uh, I've got paperwork to file for a main title. Okay. Things. And unfortunately, they really, really, really were not very uh, kind to it with the forklift. And they did uh -oh. some damage. Oh, yeah. You the see car is solid. It's a shame. Yeah. I would sell this thing cheap. It'd probably be a good race car for somebody. Mm hmm it's it's a very unique ride and I, it has potential to be pretty cool but it's gonna it's gonna need a mountain of work yeah and it looks so like it had a pretty cool maroon interior oh, yeah, 70s for sure panels. yeah that 70s maroon interior is cool someone uh, had kids or something there's all types of graffiti in I here know. i need to um i've been trying to find a parts car for it oh well, it was definitely like you said it's yeah. a shame they moved it up because it was pretty rust free Oh, it's out of North Carolina originally? Yeah, North Carolina. Oh, okay. I think they shipped it out of the Knoxville, Tennessee area. They shipped it all the way to Houston only to abandon it at an export facility. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Probably in California before that. It's got... Yeah, it's got, I saw it's that. I didn't I didn't know what that meant. I don't know what FTC is. All the or... weird, you know, foreign cars usually live on the West Coast. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense, especially if they're Asian. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's a cool car. Hopefully, um, I don't think it's doomed yet. <laughs> Six and this is a Ford van and here. The ones they make dodgy bonds. It's a short wheel base. Oh yeah, the Jap in Japan. There's and then this is the. Uh, it's a short wheel base. We looked at this one earlier. Yeah, I like I like this one. Oh yeah, this is the one with the shag carpeting everywhere. Yeah, they have. Yeah, I didn't have the heart to crush the carpet this one out. Somebody obviously cared about wow. this van inside. Yeah, that's. I mean, <laughs> someone put a lot of custom stuff in there. Man, you can touch that carpet and it just. Turns in the dust in your hands. CB. We, my parents bought a '70s Dodge Motorhome, and I remember it had carpet like this, like this van. Every square inch of the interior was covered in that Sounds carpet. Right. I don't know if it was for looks or if it had a reason, but yeah, it's a chateau. Chateau. Like it. It's a '78. Somebody put a, put a uh, newer grill on it. Oh, okay. I like this. Yeah, it's hard I do to too. See. It's cool. It's got flares. It had a set of Western Turbine wheels on it when I got it. I actually oh. sold the wheels for about what I paid for the whole van. Oh. Hey, hey. So it's it's square body part storage. It's like a catch-all. I need to organize oh. this. That's all square body Chevy stuff. In oh, there. wow. Well, we're going to come back on another trip and get some square body parts from you because we've got, like I said, two that need almost everything. I understand. Yeah. I got all kinds of stuff here. You can probably find something you need. You don't uh, see those. You 80, don't see those. 86 Daytona, 2.2 turbo. The only Daytona I could ever afford. Now, this one is, who makes the Daytona? This is a Dodge. It's okay. a car. Uh, okay. I got a guy pulling this apart. He needs to come back out here and get the rest of his stuff. This was a... Uh, Reminds me of the old Ford Probe. It was wrecked in 94. Okay. It actually has had a lot of good parts on it. I made him a deal on everything. Hmm. Except he didn't want the whole car. So oh. He's just going to gut it here. Hmm. Now is this frame, is this for blazer or? K5 blazer frame. Okay, I thought so. Somebody, I saw... somebody had a Toyota truck cab on it at one point. So they, really? um, yeah, and they wow. torched off the. Oh, the front yeah. horns, it sucks. Yeah, you can see all types of modifications frame now you yeah, mentioned it. I don't know if somebody's gonna want this thing or not. I gotta get it advertised. Yeah, well, the suspension, I mean, someone will want the, the axles suspension there, right? axle, yeah. yeah. This is a 240D. Yeah, how'd you, a, how'd you cut a tank apart? I heard that. Oh, I got it part of, I got it taken apart like this. This was a freebie. Oh, 
So hey, it's gonna. I, I've yeah. been partying it since. It's got a date on it. I've been partying it for almost two months. It's gonna, it gonna probably go to the scrapyard soon. Okay, I saw these dates. So you're putting these on here, kind of keep yeah. track of everything. Well, yeah, you told them guys earlier. You leave your stuff out everywhere. It's probably better 240 than the other one over there. Oh, Celica. Yeah, nice. 78 Celica. I like, actually really like these. This car. Yeah. It's got the sunroof too. Yeah, it's got good glass all the way around. And I can imagine that's pretty hard to find. <laughs> oh, man, nature's taking us back. Yeah, it's, you know, believe it or not, it still has good floors. I don't know how. Oh, okay. Jump seat. Yeah, Subaru Brat. Oh, oh that's here's cool. Subaru's it out of Longview. That's. That's another Northeast Texas car. Yeah, Longview there. And then another Mercedes, huh? Yeah. These are more a little more desirable. You see them more often. This one's getting parted. This was not a bad car, yeah. but I had nobody wanted holes, so I, yeah. I had some parts inquiries, and it started taking apart. Wow. What were you trying to get for it when you were asking for it, hole? Six hundred. Six hundred bucks. Yeah. Did it have title or? No title. Okay. This was, a, this was a property clear out car. I didn't get title or key. Interior was decent though. Yeah, it had nice seats in it. Those sold like two days ago. Hmm. Shut nice. Early 2000s uh, Z71. Yeah, rust bucket. It's yeah. Midwest truck. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, it's getting gutted. That thing's on the tail end of its time. Someone took the LS uh. out already. Yeah, it was going when I got it, actually. That's a shame. It only had like 40,000 original miles because okay. every LS that you buy is only 40,000 original miles. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one would have been a cool truck new, this yellow and white. It's getting, yeah, it's a little bit too rusty for a project, and it's it's been giving up a lot, obviously. Well, I mean, 70s trucks is, is popular as are, yeah, I bet if the part's even halfway good, someone's wanting it. Let's see, do you, you know what year this is? 78, I believe. Okay. You can get your own little video you know, electric light. Yeah. I get, did you buy it like this, or did you sell the roof? I sold the roof. Okay. Yeah. Just curious, how much did a roof go for these days on these? Not as much as I would have wanted. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Another, Another one of these. So yeah, you've got, you probably have the biggest collection of these in the in choice. the state. Not by, <laughs> not by choice. They're not like your passion vehicle. No. <laughs> but I, I, I have a heart and I can't just crush them. Should we just call the, call this uh, episode Sean's Chrysler? What was these? LeBaron's? Fifth Avenue. Chrysler, <laughs> Sean's Fifth Avenue Junkyard. <laughs> if, I, if I had enough acreage, what I would do is just line up all the Fifth Avenues and then get a Fifth Avenue road sign to mark yes. out the row. Oh, yeah, there you go. I like the, the, this has probably got a great drivetrain. I mean, this thing, it was, I'm sure it was parked because of the accident damage. Somebody yeah. needed a, a, you know, a 318 and a 904 for something. This car wow. can provide. Wow. There's a blazer quarter yeah. right there. I, that's what made me think earlier. I was like, I got to ask him if he's got any other tops every, or something. Just saw the quarter. Every time I've had a blazer, everyone has I've had the roof sale. And... I don't know why they rust so much more than the trucks. Because they're not taken care of. I guess They get so. on the beach, they're in the mud. Yeah. That's true, people don't take care of them. That thing was an East Texas truck, and that thing was rotten. rotten was it? Rotten. I, that quarter, I can't believe it was good as good as it is. That's why I cut it off. Yeah, I was going to say, because I thought, yeah, oh, it might have been a decent forever. truck. The quarter? Yeah. Hmm. He's got, like, Dad. random parts all along the fence line. S10 Blazer, my uh, Oh, yeah. All around. And then this is what? Is this 80s or 80s, it's right? 79. Oh, 79, okay. Yeah, this thing is uh, what, another shed. Another 318? Yeah. No, well, actually, it was. It's, it's okay. just a bottle. Oh, okay. And then another transmission shed for you? Transmissions in the back of it. This is another catch all. Wow. You got more vans and obviously more Fifth Avenues than anywhere I've ever been. I don't know if I'm happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> Three quarter ton. Yeah, that one. I just kind of threw it back here. That's, that's it's gonna be here a while, so I just kind of shoved it in the back corner. Would it have a three fifty or? This was a three fifty four speed truck. It's still got a hydraulic clutch pedal and stuff in it. Oh, oh. So that stuff's kind of hard to find. Oh, it was a manual then, huh? Yeah, it was a manual. Wow. Oh. This was a farm truck. This came from a, a, a state I cleared. Uh, uh, maybe a year ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, like you said. Uh, if I can get one in decent shape, three quarter ton, either square body or 90s trucks, but I'm trying to Save find something body. like that. I can't, I can't get into the OBS. So do the square body, yeah. yeah. Well, I know they've got a little easier to work on, and the value probably hold a little better going up, or go up a little more. 
You can get some Dodge fenders back there. Yeah, inter there's inner fenders. The most the like hmm. You know that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Keegan. You might as well go get yourself a, a cart. Yeah, there's Keegan. There's nothing good on it. I just got the Milwaukee badge. Oh, iron. you're just going to keep that? Probably. I don't even know where that came from. <laughs> what would you do on this This CJ? is my brother's Jeep. It's a oh. CJ6. He would sell it or he should sell it. It's mm -hmm. very rough. What year? I think it's a 62. Okay. Yeah, Which clearly means I don't have a title for it. Yeah, that's, yeah. Pretty cool. It's, it's got cool. the factory hardtop doors right there. Yeah, the hard it's got the hardtop too right there. Oh. It, it needs work, obviously. Oh, yeah. Look, uh, I think if he was if he was smart, he would take eight or $900 for this Jeep if he got offered that. Cause it's probably worth absolutely no more than that. Hmm. But it's a CJ6. It's kind of rare, kind of. Does that the engine in there? Yeah, yeah it's, it's got, got that, that big, uh, big four cylinder. Oh, uh, okay. Oh yeah. Locked up, of course. Well, Can't looking at the Jeep, that's not too big of a shock, I guess. No, not really. <laughs> and then we've almost come back full circle. What do you got here? Is that uh, Range Rover, Land yeah, Rover? Yeah, Land Rover. You that's trying to sell a hole, or is that a parts one? Needs to go. She needs to go. I'm very upset with it. Oh, really? really? Yeah. Well, it's Land Rover, so. Oh, yeah, British. British. Stuck in park. Yeah. Oh, really? Brake light solenoid. It's something electrical. And I just, I don't want to deal with it. That doesn't open. It's English. According, yeah, I know. According to uh, YT Studio, we do get a, a quite a few viewers from England. I think it's like 2 or 3% of our viewership. So, well, the ones we're not trying to pick on Land Rover Discovery ones <laughs> that were sold in the U.S. Not, yeah. Not yeah. Okay. Yeah, and we're not trying to rag on British cars. It's just they got a reputation yeah, in the U.S. for having electrical. When they work. Yeah, they just have a reputation here for being electrical for gremlins. Sure. Was it four cylinder? Oh, V six. Okay. Four cylinder. No, V eight. V eight. Really, I'm really sorry. V eight. That's a it's a Buick two fifteen. Okay. Wow. Or evolution of it. Oh, yeah. Four point oh. That's a good size engine. Yeah. It actually runs good. So you That's think about it, all it does good. So if you get that switch <laughs> going, then you can put it in yeah. drive and actually go somewhere in it. Does the AC work on it? No, literally nothing electrical works. Okay. Yeah, it's all just, it's it's all got a mind of its own. That's why there's a kill switch here. Ah, uh, oh. It, it's it's a very gremlin-filled car. Wow. And what year? It's a 98. Okay. I think that's the last year of the Disco one, if I remember right. Huh. Well, maybe someone can get her going. Somebody. There's somebody, a guy out there. Somebody needs to come get this thing. There's a guy out there. Does, thousand bucks. Thousand bucks with title, huh? With title, wow. and it runs. And it's got new tires on it. I bet there's someone out there that specializes in these. It's probably right now laughing and knows exactly what needs to be fixed on oh, there. Oh, it's something stupid. It's just, uh, it's, it's a, um, it's me. I just don't want to fix it. <laughs> I'm scared. So it's like you're going in the town truck. Yeah, I've had, I've driven this since college. Okay. Dang, well, I'm awesome. very attached to it. Yeah, four wheel drive too. That's cool. Mean. I don't mean, but it's humble. No, that's very pretty. It's been all over the U.S. It's got a cheapy Mako paint job that was put on years ago. I used to live in Galveston with this on the coast. Oh, uh, okay. And I wanted to protect it, and it and it did. Yeah, it's it, been a the few paint's places. terrible. Yeah, a lot of those stickers fell off too. Well. And on Facebook. It's okay if I open the door on this one. Okay. It's like an '84 four-wheel drive, and he What's? has the title. It's solid. I just bought that '84 Blazer. It's got the same gray interior. Good looking truck. It's got like old 80s big tires. What year is this? It's a 90. Not, okay, I was gonna say with the grill, but a lot of people put the newer grills on there too. It's a cool thing <laughs> right there. Yeah, what is that? Military? It's a Southwestern Bill utility trailer. Oh. Is that 30s or 40s? I think it's 30s. But yeah, this the I guess before they had utility trucks, you'd have a car and you'd tow this behind it. It's heavy duty, you there's no doubt thing. about it's that. It's under a cedar tree, which is not good. But Southwestern Bell, and then uh, it's Highway Trailer Co. It's out of Wisconsin. I thought it was one of those oh, like God. old um, Harley ice cream carts, but those are survey cars. I, I could tell it was heavy duty, whatever cool. it was for. So it's actually yeah. not that heavy. Like I can move it around by myself. Oh. Okay, it looks heavy duty for sure. Was well, it got shelves in there or just open? Uh, it's got a, it's got a door, drawers that fold out. Oh, okay, it's really cool. That's neat. Somebody, somebody needs that. And how much you want to get for that if you sell it? Three or four hundred dollars. Okay. Something like that. Sounds good. 
All right, so now we're gonna look at your private stuff. This is your. Yeah, I'm selling. I'm selling the, all one of the cars in here. Okay, but you are selling some. Okay. Uh, I'd sell the. I'd sell the white Volvo. Okay. And what's the story on this? Uh, I came out of Lakey, Texas. If anybody's familiar with the Twisted Sisters, this car lived on 337 behind Texaro. Uh, and I found paperwork from um, Vanderhorn? I can't remember the name of the town. This thing basically lived in the canyons for a long time. Oh, well. Well, there's someone in Dallas or Austin that probably wants it. Yeah, somebody needs this thing. I've had it up for sale for a while. Hmm. And uh, I've had interest and nobody has actually came out and had it. See, one thing, it is really solid. It's got, it's got a little bit of rust through the back window of all places. Okay, yeah. I see it now. Um, got a little patina, but I think people that like these type of cars don't really care for patina. It's neat. It's a neat survivor. It's got a nice interior in it. It's an 80 model and it's it's an early flat hood. The, I think the car's got to be worth two grand. If I couldn't get two for it, I'd probably just stash it somewhere. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, sometimes if you're like, you can't get the price thing, it's worth it's worth just keeping. I just, yeah. I, I, I don't, I've, I've lost interest in working on it and I don't want to put it outside, but mm -hmm. it's, it's in the way in here. Yeah. Now this thing is really sweet. Yeah, I've had this one for a few years now. This is my going out car. And is this the original paint on there? No, it's not a respray done. Okay. Original color though? I believe so. Okay. And what was, uh, for... 72 Le Mans, a Pontiac 350. Oh, 350, okay. It's, it's nothing special. It's a, it's just a two-barrel. Um, it's been maintained, and it just keeps going. It's got, uh, I think, 110,000 original miles on it. Oh, wow. It is a really good-looking <laughs> car. Wow. It's a good driver. It's got some, uh, it's some suspension stuff to it. It's got two-wheel control arms and Man. front disc brakes and big sway bar. How often do you take it out? Ah, uh, once a week. Okay. They do any cruise nights or anything up here you take it to? Uh, I got a buddy who runs something in New Waverly. Oh, okay. It's a small thing. I usually take it out there. That's going to happen. He does it every other week. So uh, next Saturday, I'll be taking it there. All right, so one more shed of the the special stuff in here. 83 FA 16. That's, that's really nice. That's original paint, I think, huh? It is original paint. Yeah. It's got some products. Somebody put a little volume up to it. Has an LS. Um, uh, original four speed with a two speed Ranger Overdrive gear splitter. Oh, that's cool. And uh, it's got a 60 LQ4 LS motor. That's yeah. a real. Yeah, I've never seen Man, that's a nice truck. I, I drove this to Swap Meet the first yeah, time. Yeah, the Chano first time. It has that. It, I don't know, it has the same smell my 72 Suburban has. It smells yeah. just like my 72 Suburban in there. These are cool. I, 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 I really wanted one of these for a long time, and I just kind of stopped driving it. And so rather than it just, you know, sit to deteriorate, I, I got it on the market. Okay, so this was one of your, uh, like, for you, that you bought for you to drive yeah. originally. I've had this since 19, so I've had it. It'll be coming up on four years. Oh, okay. And, uh, but you said you're putting it on the market now. What are you trying to get for it? I got it up right now for 20000 OEO. Okay. And, and you think you might have a trade might for it. might have a trade for an Evo, uh, Evo 4, of all things. Okay. Yeah. 96. That is So bad. it might be, I might have to swap it for an Evo. Okay. That so, would be a good trade. So, so twenty grand if it doesn't, if you don't get the deal yeah, done on Evo, okay. But hopefully you get the deal on Evo. So you said you're going to find out in a couple hours, probably on that. Yeah, I'm going to talk to him. We we did a FaceTime yesterday. Oh, okay, where's he out of? Uh, U Yukon, Oklahoma. Oh, okay, yeah. it's not terribly far, but a while. Dallas is midway between us. I think okay, we probably meet in Dallas. And um, then, that Evo would be sick if you did it. The sport's pretty solid. Sixty. Five or six? 67. Yeah. 67, okay. Two door. Um, it's a nice car. Got an FE in it. And uh, somebody put in a top loader four speed. Oh, nice. Which is sick. <laughs> is it originally this baby blue or? Yes, yeah, it's a little paint. Okay. It's a good color combo. I think somebody yeah. put through a hardware fence with it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Probably. <laughs> White interior, Bare too. Metal. Oh, you. I guess uh, we're gonna have some electrical stuff. Or? Uh, the dash was second part when I got it. Okay. I, I need to get off my ass and work on this car. I've been uh, lacking motivation on it. Original. Oh. Uh, it's yeah. indoors and it's not rotting, and that's the biggie. I have a lot of new parts. I got a new gas tank, new brakes for it. Wow. He's it's a sick solid truck or car. Driving. Yeah. Now this is probably my favorite car of everything I've seen out here today. This thing is, I don't know, normally I'm not into this. Like I'm not into Ranchos or El Caminos, but this one I really it's like. It's 83 uh, Holden WBU. And it's from Australia. From Australia. It's from, it's from it's South the, Australia. It's still got the South Australia plates. That's cool. Uh, it's got some rust here and there. These things love to rust. This thing is 
Honestly, pretty solid. I was gonna say, yeah. It's a uh, it's a 3.3 liter Holden inline six and a uh, three speed manual on the column. Wow. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I know parts of South Australia be quite, kind of wet, so it's pretty I impressive that it's pretty. I think this was an inland car. It has a lot of dust in it. Okay, yeah, that red Australian dirt. And then uh, those aren't fact. Those are. No, those, are, those are Trans Am GTA wheels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought so. I, yeah. We get a few viewers on our uh, our information says we get a few viewers from Australia too, so maybe uh, someone out there watch this yeah, and, w, and knows a little bit about these can maybe WB chime in. in Texas. <laughs> I needed this thing. It was it, I hadn't started in a while. I was running and driving. I needed to do brakes and some. And still got the right hand drive too. So if you ever get a job delivering mail, oh my you're, god, you're set. Well, you delivered mail See, car. I got, got the bar for the tonneau cover back here. See, and a lot of times on these older, uh, like El Caminos or different things, the beds are usually what's so beat up or, or rusty, and this one's really nice. Not too bad. Is the bar from Australia? Yeah, it is. That's sick. The tailgate's still solid. I mean, it's it's got some rust here and there. It's got a few spots on the floors and on the cow. Um, but all in all, it's a pretty good truck. No, it's cool. I really, I'm right, like so I said. You can get actually get. I've, I've got some brand new aftermarket tail lights for it. It's got the zoom in the matching for the, Yeah. Yeah. They're a big, pretty big class. That's cool. Down there. That's cool. And, and then we got the. Uh, that's what, 72 Opal Commodore Opal. B. It is not a GSE. GSEs are fuel injected. This one has got a Weber carb. Oh, okay. Um, there are not many of these in the states. I got this car out of Southern California. It'd been in there. It'd been in, it'd been in the United States since the early '80s. Oh man, um, vinyl top. Yeah, thankfully good. it didn't rot too bad. You say good thing it's Southern California car with the vinyl yeah, top. Yeah, it still managed to rust the quarters. Um, kind of a cool car. It's got under dash AC. This thing runs. I need a. It needs the Weber rebuilt, and it's going to need a uh, brake job. Hmm. Yeah, that is a club in based in the UK. Oh wow! I okay. looked that up, and honestly, I thought about inquiring out with pictures of this car. See if they can tell anything of the history of it. Yeah, they might have some sort of uh, inventory list on these. Clearly, this I car is know. not. This was not a UK car. It's it's left hand drive. Oh yeah. I wonder if this car went over the autobahn. Well, I mean, probably not. At some point, I'm sure it did. It had 11 years to live in Europe. Oh, okay. So it wasn't here immediately. Yeah, this is 72. It's imported in 83. Oh, ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting. But this is a really cool car here, and pretty darn solid. It's not too bad. It's got some rust. These are pretty rust prone, though. Ooh, that's a six cylinder. It's only 2.8 liters. That is a lot bigger than I was expecting. It looks cool. It's got a really cool valve cover. That was an Opal thing. I think all the ones in the States had a similar style, like ribbed it's valve cover. Two oh. liters? 2.8. I guess they were going to put really the bar big. in here. No, oh. the bar came in the back of the Ute. I'm trying to sell the bar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Australian 2J is what they call them. Yep, four mm. liters. Yeah, they, it's a neat car. I need to get this thing going. Um, so I bought this on a wheel. Here. Oh, did you? You weren't. Yeah, I bought the like car and had yeah. it shipped sight unseen. It's a little rustier than I thought it would be, but it's okay. Wow. It's cool. It's rare. It's unique. Yeah, it's interesting. Anywhere they have, you know, a 67 Galaxy, an FJ60 Land Cruiser, uh, this is, a WB, and a Commodore B all in the same shop. No, this I is definitely not. one of the most unique combinations of vehicles in a shop. All the cars are cool. 69 Newport. 69 Newport. And it's got good shocks, huh? Yeah, the shocks probably been on there <laughs> since the late 70s. <laughs> and just a little bit of uh, rear window rust, right? Yeah. Would you say the back window? You see uh, where someone glassed it. Wow. Yeah, it's uh I took that out to move the car. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, some little body work there. But it has uh a 440? 383 two. Oh, 383. Yeah. Not too bad. What type of auto trans? Yeah, yeah auto. That's not too bad. It's all there. You probably put it four barrels. Still a lot of battery when I got it. Is the engine free or do you You know I haven't really messed with it to be honest? Oh, okay. That's interesting. Been sitting for a long time. Wow. Well, yeah, you don't see these very often. Had air conditioning. This car gave me an idea of just taking one of these big, like late 60s Chrysler.
car, uh, Chrysler boats and making them like a big old Baja car or something. Put Pretty like cool. big Baja truck suspension under it and everything. Yeah, well, it would do because this is a subframe car. The sad thing oh. is, I do remember on the car forums from about 15 years ago where people were buying cars like this in decent shape just to yank the motor out and then for their chargers, challengers, and then they would just take it and crush it. Like, didn't even try to sell this parts off it or anything. This car it's got a few bits on it. It is pretty much crush bait. It's got a good grill. It's got a decent back bumper. Yeah. Maybe trim. Some of the trim yeah, looks decent. Some bits if on you it. want to fool with getting it off. Seat out of it. That's all I've sold off this car so far. Trim. Someone wants trim, but the problem with trim is it's a pain ass to get off sometimes. Yeah. And then this is interesting. It's total trash, but it's trash. interesting. And you said this came from League City, which League is City. right on the coast. League City or Dickinson. It was set in the Dickinson Swamp. Which is, I think, in Harvey and all that was this thing got, an this Ike. Thing underwater. Under salt, brackish I mean, you water, can see yeah. That the, the spokes on the wheel are, are actually rotted. Yeah. There, every piece of sheet metal on this car is trash. Yeah, this there's thing. No, there's no floors left in it. There's no trunk floor left wow. in it. Yeah. I wonder how this high thing the water is. Got up over it. Probably pretty deep because I know well, during Harvey alone they went in Dickinson area and it was like a lot of that area was three four feet. Yeah, this is what year? Eighty three. And this is the last day for this poor Jag because yeah, tomorrow it, it's it, it dies tomorrow. Dies. It goes to the scrapyard tomorrow. Ex to get crushed. Wow. Yeah, there's there's nothing left on this car we're saving. The front subframes oh. rusted out on it. Man. It, it. I mean, everything is trash. And just think, it might still be under a day if it probably, they stopped driving probably because it had a simple electrical issue. Yeah, it is English, more than likely. Yeah. <laughs> what did it originally have, do you know? It was a V12. Okay. Well, yeah, you sort can of see been the quite subframe. The subframe's actually pitted out on it. Oh, no, it's got holes. Like 312 horsepower, they were not. Yeah, but they were more for like the horsepower per weight ratio and all that versus raw horsepower like we do. They're big and heavy. Yeah, well. So this one, last day we could have filmed it, so yeah, we got this it. Is it. It's Everybody, so the guy who was so gracious to let us come out here uh, is Sean, and this is your, your, I wouldn't say private junkyard, but it's definitely your, your this is your livelihood, it's, it's not a hobby. It's a business, yeah, no, it, it's, it's, it's a hobby that turned into a business. But this is, I mean, this makes you happy here. Yeah, and, yeah it, it gets stressful sometimes, you know, not knowing, you know, I've, I've always made what I need to to survive and be able to get more inventory in. It's just some months are good, some months are bad, it's the same with anything. Yeah, and you, um, and you travel, you've traveled the whole country I've been, stuff. I've been a lot of places doing this. The furthest I've been is Western Montana. Okay. Um, I'm trying to get back up there now. Um, yeah, because you've said you've got leads for quite a few. Yeah, I've got two. I've got two places. leads on collections in Montana, possibly a third. Quite a few in East Texas. Yeah, I've got. I know people in East Texas. There's a few collections out there I still need to go check out. I haven't gotten into yet. Um, there's collect. I do Central Texas, uh, Brenham area a lot. I'm always okay. out there. Uh, th this piece of crap I'm laying on. This is a Brenham car. Um, okay. Yeah, you did get quite a few out of Brenham. Oh wow. It's rusty. <laughs> um, but hey, it's a 383. Um, oh nice. But yeah, I stick to uh, 60s, 70s, and 80s. And yeah, it doesn't matter. All makes, models. All makes. I'm trying to get a little bit away from European stuff. Okay. Just not the demand for it, or? Well, they just they're kind of a pain to part out. Right. Japanese stuff's great. American stuff is definitely the best. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I, I like. I buy what I like. And yeah. that's, that's the stuff I, and, I'm into. And it makes it a lot easier when it's something you like because not only do you have an interest in learning about it and knowing about it, but since you already are interested in it, you probably already have a pretty good grasp on value yeah. and what's the... And it helps me to better understand it. And if, yeah. you know, if, it's, if I'm buying parts cars for stuff I'm interested in building, I'm more inclined to keep stuff longer because I'm like, oh, well, maybe I can use it one day. Yeah, that's true. But I don't hoard. It looks like a hoarder lives here. Anything's for sale. <laughs> everything's for sale. Because your inventory is moving around. Yeah, it's very fluid. So if we come back six months, it might be. Oh, it's gonna be totally different. Like eighty I mean, percent different. I bet. I bet um, thirty percent of what's here is gonna still be here in six months. Okay. So we'll definitely, since you're gracious enough to offer, we're definitely gonna try to come back. Yeah, anytime. And uh, check it. You know, every maybe once, twice a year, and see yeah, different inventory you got. Because most junkyards. The stuff's been in there for the last 30, 40 years. There's no rotation. And with you having rotation, that makes it much more interesting. I, I price my stuff to sell. I'm not looking to keep this stuff for years. Um, I want it to find homes. I, I buy this stuff. A lot of it to rescue it from the scrapyard. Because yeah, there's quite a few cars you told us that was going to be scrapped, that was going to be scrapped. Most of these cars here were going to be scrapped. Yeah, Even so you, the, some of the nicer stuff in the front, it was scrapyard bound. Okay. So you're not... 
paying a fortune and you're not trying to make a fortune you're no, just trying no. to I'm, 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 make, I'm trying to make an honest living doing this trying to make an honest living it's while letting this out I, I make my money based on the amount of parts i sell not so much the the quality of them but the quantity okay great so and you're just trying to make an honest living while keeping this stuff where the the parts still exist and that survives in one way or another exactly yep. once this stuff's gone it's gone a lot of this true. stuff's not reproduced and it's just um it's and a shame. you got a hell of a cool place. We really appreciate la yeah, letting absolutely. us come out. I enjoyed having you guys here. Well, thank you. And uh, we're going to try to come back uh, before too much longer, especially since you've got like 22 cars you just bought. You're going to try to get in here. Yeah. So hopefully in a few months, I'll give you a ring. And if you think, yeah, I got a lot of new stuff, we'll come up and check it out. And one thing we'd like to maybe do, we'll coordinate later, is uh, maybe even do a resurrection video on one of your yeah, cars. Yeah, I've got here. plenty of stuff here that would probably, um, with a little time, it could probably be going again hey it'd be cool just to see something breathe the life after a lot of years of it sitting, feels so. good i've done it a yeah. few times out here it's just hard to get the time to do it anymore it's just so much going on i hear you yep well we appreciate it. we had a lot of fun and uh we're gonna put your information on here right now so people can get a hold of you because i'm sure there's someone out there that's watching this that saw something they're interested in and i hope hopefully it leads to some more sales for you having us come out here yeah i hope so all right well thanks once again really appreciate it and uh Hopefully we'll uh, have another video before too long coming out here and checking out what Sean's got for us.